this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. And now I am here with rapid fire question 24. And today's question is principle of MTT assay. Why do we do this assay and how do we do this assay? And this is the rapid fire question series for PhD entrance exams and interviews. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So MTT assay is a laboratory technique. It is used to test cell viability. It is used to test cell viability. That means it can determine whether cells we are maintaining in the laboratory are live or dead. They are live or dead. So actually by using this technique we assess the metabolic activities of cells. If cells show high amount of metabolic activity it reflects that cells are healthy. So high metabolic activity means healthy cells and low metabolic activity means cells are dying. Right? Now MTT is a colorimetric assay or colorimetric technique. So that means it checks the concentration of a colored compound. That's why it is colorimetric assay. So in this technique, we add MTT. We add MTT in cells. So we have cells here. And we are adding MTT here. And MTT is actually a dye. It is a dye which is yellow colored dye. So MTT is yellow dye. Now healthy cells generate NADH, right? NADH are generated by healthy cell via the process Krebs cycle, right? Because in healthy cells, continuously metabolism proceeds and glycolysis a Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation do proceed always in a healthy cell and there are some enzymes which are dependent on these NADH. One of them is oxidoreductase. It is dependent on NADH. So what does it do? Actually, in the presence of NADH, oxidoreductase reduces MTT. There is a reduction of MTT and this MTT is reduced by this oxidoreductase in the presence of NADH into formazan. So, MTT gets reduced into formazan. And formazan is insoluble, which has a purple color. So, now we have to add BMSO. So, we have added MTT, then we will add here 
DMSO. Because DMSO is a solubilizing agent to dissolve formazan. Otherwise, if formazan doesn't get dissolved properly, we cannot measure it accurately. And then we will measure its absorbance at 540 nanometer. So we will now measure its absorbance. Now, if more intense purple color we get like these here, this is the 96 well plate where cell cultures are there. So you can see more intense purple color we can see here. Then OD will be higher. That means cells are more healthy. And if less intense purple color we get, so in these wells you can say white or very less intense purple color we can see. So here OD will be less and that means these cells are dying. So this is the principle of MTT assay. Now, few points to remember here. MTT should be always freshly prepared. They should be freshly prepared always because it gets automatically reduced if you keep it for long. And already reduced MTT will not work anymore. Second, we dissolve MTT in PBS. MTT in PBS. So we dissolve MTT in PBS before walking. Third, MTT is very much light sensitive, very much light sensitive. So we have to proceed whole experiment in dark.